Uh, my name is Jim Whittle and I live in a beautiful part of England in Herefordshire and I'm 68 and I was diagnosed as having minor dysplasia that would be uh, yeah 12 months ago in October yeah they said they found a donor in the US I went into hospital feeling that yeah okay I'm gonna keep texting my friends uh, keep in touch uh, maybe write a little diary but after five days of chemo, I didn't forget that I got friends, but I forgot that I got a mobile phone. My children, I've got two children, Jamie, son who's 33, and Katie, daughter who's 32. I felt close to them before, but we just bonded so much during that period. And my daughter came home from Zimbabwe. When the operation was postponed, I said, look, Kate, you're going back to Zimbabwe on such and such a date. She said, I'm not, Dad. She said, I'm staying here and I'm going to keep you going. I'm feeling good. Yeah, yes. I, I could almost sort of say that each week I'm aware that I feel a little better. I think I've been sort of fairly um, level-headed about it. I, I mean, I, I'm a farmer. I see life, I see death and uh, see suffering and so on. When I'm back to full health, I want to feel like I would have felt when I was 35. No, I pulling your leg there. I want, to I want to feel fit. I want to feel up for, for getting plenty of work done. I'm self-employed. I love my work. The advice that I would give to anyone going through the same process or being offered the same process is to go for it. Prepare yourself for a little bit of a knock initially, but it's going to be well worth it. It does get better, a lot better. I've had a good life, so I, you know, I thought, well, a bit more would, a bit more would be nice.